guys it's tip back again for another video and I'm using my long skinny cardboard journal this is a handmade journal that I've just fallen in love with the size of if you happen to be interested in purchasing one of these please make sure that you message me I have lots in the works um, right now so if you want to treat yourself to a Christmas present as you can see I'm just flipping through and I am trying to decide on the page I do not work in chronological order. I just randomly select a page and get down to it. So today, kind of my thought process was to use this little stash of bits and bobs that I had right here on my desk. And if you're not, if you don't know something about me, one of the things is I challenge myself and create rules for myself when I'm feeling a little stuck. And one of my rules today was the fact that I had to use what was right there on the desk. So, from colors to uh, collage materials, everything is sitting right here for me to be able to use. So, um, if you ever get stuck, create funny little rules for yourself that make you kind of push your limits a little bit. Um, and don't think very long so continue to move very quickly and um, you may find yourself feeling a little more freedom in your journal if you've been stuck for a little bit so I'm going in here with some gesso as you see and just kind of blending the collage elements that I've put down into the background a little bit and kind of making it an easy and smooth transition from the craft paper over to the collage using the palette knife and then I saw this little piece of um, paper that I had uh, jelly paper so I was like well I'll use it as a little uh, paper palette to be able to put the paint, um, paint down and the cool thing about using that is I'll have a fun paper to collage with on the next time and so I'm just peeling up some of this wet paint and making it a little more random because I'm kind of like that. I like fun and random and um, messiness. So, and I'm just tinkering with some of the collage elements as I am uh, going through the motions here of drying this uh, page off. And I saw this cardboard stencil that I had cut out out of I believe it was like a um, cereal box and so I thought well we could use that as a stencil and it still falls within my rules of using what I have on my desk and I'm just randomly placing these little dots going right in and kind of playing with some more collage elements here And then I'm just grabbing some charcoal and making some messy scribbles in throughout that wet paint because some of that paint is still wet, by the way. And then I saw that I had the little, um, I don't know, I think these are distress paints, maybe. And I grabbed some of this in a light ivory color. And I'm just kind of toning down the background a little bit more. Going to grab me another color here. And just smush it right onto the uh, journal page. And it had some of that blue on there too. So I got a little bit of a green, which I don't necessarily love, but I'm going to work with it. You'll notice that I dry and I pick up pieces as I go along. So um, it, I'm either looking around the table as I'm drying so that I can utilize the time that I have to my advantage and then I'm just going to go in right here with my finger in the uh, gesso and just squish it around and I thought oh that color kind of goes with the color there and then I kind of liked how it looked when I picked it up some of the paint and that little number kept just sitting there staring at me, so I decided to glue it down. And 
And then, of course, I had a hole that I got right in the middle of the page. So I said, well, I'm going to dry it good, and then I'm going to use some masking tape um, just to go down and cover that hole up. Um, because masking tape is awesome and it provides a little extra texture and it is just fun to use so why not use it and just you could use washi tape or whatever you want here I just think that it kind of um, blocks out a little bit of the noise in the background whenever I plop a piece of masking tape so if you have a super busy area and you want to um, Kind of tone it down a little bit masking tape is a good way to do that and then i'm also going to go in here with the graphite pencil and just make some crazy scribbles around and um, i'm wetting it so that it moves a little better and making some dots over in the corner where that black dot was on that collage piece and sometimes you just have to pull your journal up a little bit so you can see it, especially if you're filming because it's hard to see. And I wanted some nice grungy shadows with that graphite pencil. And then I'm just going in with a regular pencil and kind of making some light scribbly marks throughout the background as well. It adds just a little bit of something, something. And here I've been wanting to use this little guy for a minute and it still didn't come together like I wanted to to use him. So I'm just going to save him to the side for a little bit. And uh, till the perfect page allows me to use it. And then I thought about using a black and white photo that I had scanned and printed. And I had a silly little saying on that um that paper that was typed out that I've been wanting to, to use too and it just didn't turn out and sometimes that's how it is you just have to work past it so I got um, a quote book that was sitting right beside me and I cut it out and then I put it on the um, it was um, a grocery bag a craft like brown paper bag um, that I had taken apart and picked up paint with because doesn't everybody do that? So I ran it over to the sewing machine, and by run, I mean I just, like, walked right there. <laughs> and then I'm just going to glue it down after I put the uh, messy stitching around it. And, guys, we're pretty much going to call this a day. I'm happy with it. It took me away for a few moments to just play in my journal and make a big old mess. So until next time, guys, toodaloo.